In this video cheat sheet, we're going to be configuring a BGP router ID on router 1. First, we're going to start off with the baseline show command of show IP BGP to see what kind of output we get. And then we're going to enable the debug command, debug IP BGP events, so that we can see what process the router goes through once we hard code the BGP router ID. And then we're going to finish up with some verification show commands. We're going to show IP BGP again to see if anything's changed from the baseline show command and then look at the running config to see how it's changed once we've hard coded the router ID. Let's look at the network topology. We're going to be hard coding the router ID here on router 1. It's already been done on the other routers, but we're just focusing here on router 1. Let's start off with the show IP BGP command to see what kind of output we get. And we don't have any output because this is just the second lesson in this video cheat sheet series. From the previous lesson, we enabled the BGP routing process here on router 1, and we saw that BGP went from not being enabled to now being enabled, but we didn't have any output yet, so let's turn on debugging with a debug IP BGP events. Okay, so debugging is on, and now we're going to hard code the router ID to the loopback zero address of 1.1.1.1. You can choose other interfaces, but I would highly recommend you choose the management interface, which is usually the loopback interface, because the loopback interface will always be up as long as the router is up. So it gives a good anchor point. A good router ID will only go down when the router itself goes down. We are already getting some output here from our BGP events. So let's see how it changes when I put in the router ID and see what we get. It says right here that BGP reset all neighbors, which we don't have any yet, but this is what it would do if it did. And it resets all the neighbors due to the router ID change. So I'm going to go ahead. We saw that the command took. We see that the router acknowledged that it took it. So I'm going to turn debugging off. Let's do our verification show command of show IP BGP see if anything has changed from before and no it hasn't we still don't have anything we know the command took because of the debug that we ran and it reset due to the router ID change let's look at what the running config looks like now and as you can see from before we have those three default commands that were put there when we enabled the BGP process of no sync and log neighbor changes and no auto summary but now here on router 1 we also have our BGP router ID of 1.1.1.1 which once again is the loopback zero address. That is how you hard code a BGP router ID. We did the baseline show commands of show IP BGP which there wasn't any output there even though that was enabled and we enabled the debug IP BGP events command so we could see the events unfold as we hard-coded the BGP router ID and then we finished up with some verification show commands show IP BGP once again did not get any output yet <laughs> maybe in one of these video cheat sheets we will but we did see in the debug that the adjacencies reset because of the router ID change so we know the command took and then we also verified it was there in the show running config so that is how you configure a BGP router ID.